two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Never know when I might need these. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy. You're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace, and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No, I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grata might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind, if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grata follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also gonna pay Karst to visit. Aloy. That man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. If he thinks I'm going to abandon him, he's wrong.
The Embrace. My whole life, I've never gone beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd.
explosions and shouts from outside the embrace. I wonder what's going on. You have the firearms? I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've... put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings.
start. It won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something... It'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. 
I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Save these for the trail. These will keep. Tough, but I'm used to it. Hello, Grotta. Oh, Mother. Since I was cast out. Have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Show me your grace, All Mother. And provide for me once more. Good news, Grotta. Once again, All Mother has brought you... Rabbits. All Mother... Your voice cracks like the distant thunder. I hear the songs of grief, all oh mother. I would join the call, but I left my prayer beads atop the eastern overlook. 
I am afraid. Wait at your camp for me, Grata. I'll see what I can do. Going down fast. You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Trail of the Rocks is close by. the upper hand. Grotto may be devout, but it takes strong arms to reach the overlook the fast way.
This looks promising. Aha! Grata's prayer beads. I see why she comes up here to pray. It looks out to Mother's Gate. You know, I wonder what bothers me more. That she ignores me, or that with all her talking to all mothers, she's never lonely. There's Grata, all alone with all mother. Yep. Here are your prayer beads, Grata. Now you have what you need. All mother. Each morning I find your tears of joy speckling the leaves. Joy at the beauty of all you have made. See how I cry now with you in gratitude. <sighs> so you'll cry for her, but she won't speak to me. Fine. Guess that makes you the better outcast. Grata, I may not be around much for a while. I'm gonna run in the Proving, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that. Oh, Mother, I thank you for the kindnesses you share. When the Proving comes, in your great wisdom, may you give favor to a brave of generous heart. I think I get what you're saying. Goodbye, Grata, for now. Hear me as I count off my years of devotion from these beads. Let me whisper to you as your soothing whisper comes in the hushing of the grass. Oh, mother.
again. calling out for. Do you need help? I have nothing against outcasts. Far from it. But I shouldn't talk to you. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't see anyone else around to help. I guess you're right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be callous. My brother was cast out, but his sentence has ended. He, he should have come home, but he didn't. And, and his camp was covered in blood. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then. Please. Fiorana. Sounds like she's in trouble. this can I talk to you for a minute thank you I thought those watchers were gonna tear me apart your father sent me after you it's time to go home I figured but I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to Mother's cradle. Caught a glimpse of it, too, but then a watcher saw me and called his pack. My old mother, I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? Your father is worried sick about you. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He just... He doesn't want to lose you, Alana. I know. But I do wish he wouldn't yell at me so much.
That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. Precious. I should be able to find that spear. Tell me. Here we go. The trail ends here. Better check the other side. They're scanning for me. Useful.
threat has passed. Damn. Looks good. Tasty. space. Get out of this.
First you send Arana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. Me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. Blood, but no body. There's got to be more to this. Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. <sighs> Whose knife is this? Did someone attack Brom with it? Looks like more blood. Leading away from here. There, a bucket. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here. But whoever left it must have also left tracks.
I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Where are those scrappers for that? Looks like it was a watcher. Whoever I'm following made short work of it. He definitely knows how to handle a spear. Brom was an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? <laughs> it's the supplies from the cache. Why would they take them and just throw them away? Supplies from the cache. Why would they take them and just throw them away?
Could use my focus. See what it turns up. Grapes. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. <laughs> I won't listen. Uh, uh, not until you brought. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You... You're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I... How, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? So many voices to listen to. It must make your head hurt. I promise my voice will be soft and soothing. A soft voice, like Alara's. It's been so long. Years. Yes. Yes, I... I will listen. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the Forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things, hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, 
I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me. Keep me company. Help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. You're alive. Oh, Mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. How can you be certain? The voices he hears call for blood, even yours. But surely he wouldn't hurt his own sister. I've taken care of him since I was six. I... I don't want to hurt you, but the Forgotten, their... their whispers, they... they fill my head with screams. Brahm isn't ready to return to the Nora, but I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brahm. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in all mother's eternal memory, and may the forgotten leave you be. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. 
What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, the center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this to remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. See, I'm glad to have this then. It will remind me of you, of everything you did, and how you helped prepare me for this day. Thank you. Heavier than it looks, but the cord is strong. May all mother bless you, Aloy. And you. How could he do this? Today of all days. I have to keep my mind on the proofing. Turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? 
Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. There. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. <laughs> Me? I'm sober as a matriarch. Hello, Aloy. Goodbye for now, and good luck. Jog! Get down from there! Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Listen Get carefully. down from there, now! You'll have oh, to that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! Aloy, over here! Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now? Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. And wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So... Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Next time, you'll be a brave. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. 
these envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers! Of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance Hold your God. fruit, Nora. Oh. Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Evil of the Nora. On the eve of your proving, unknown device detected. No, I won't let the Kaja fake this. Just like mine. What harm can they do? You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. No, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard Steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? 
You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? The guards that took my little sister in their raids five years ago. All mother forgive them. I start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Sisters, aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Everyone knows Tirsa wants the outcast girl, and Mantra wants to pay more butter. It's for the goddess to judge the card, not me. The past should be left in the past. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. 
I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> People always say the month was better last year. Or the year before last. Nonsense. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the retreat. You're... you're very pregnant here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outs. Aw, you even tried to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Boss. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Boss, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. 
That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way, put it forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and climb back up. There! You don't wanna do this, up. girl. It's not worth it. Who's in the lead? I can't see! Boss, the baller right behind me. Come on now! Stop dragging! Hey, Gotta keep going! The outcast! The real trail? Is she crazy? Good! I'm gaining! Whoa. The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. <sighs>
hurry. Keep at it. Is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Ah! survivors. Descend while we have a chance. Get back! Everyone, forward! 
Dying. <gasps> to take her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? My clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Matriarchs are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus that we took off the killer. Where are they?
I should keep looking. I'm picking up some kind of signal. There, with the rest of my things. Awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Why are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What... What are you talking about? Um... What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... 
everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. Your mother? <gasps> oh. oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. Aloy, all mother spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy, as though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the Goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again.
Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a Seeker, a worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose, no matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the Sacred Land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varro, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora faithful, we will no soon mistakes. begin. Purify your hearts. She's gone. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought She's such gone. misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, the we will join ours to theirs. They've killed our people before. Gotta show us mercy. Do not let your faithful children be forgotten. All of our songs <laughs> turned down. The Karja faithless would look to their own. They closed the border. All mother will forgive us. Coming down steady as a drumbeat. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded, expected to die. And then... High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only Matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. 
They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... he fought to save me, and he died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well, he says mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. I should be on my way, Teb. May all mother protect. Forget about traveling life. Loose in the embrace, a thing of dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. Where did it come from? They say it broke through the gates of the embrace. Who is they? Varlin's followers. They tried to stop it, but the demon was too fast, too powerful. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You, a seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? Curse! 
Brothers! Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! Braves! Ready yourselves! Today we fight a curse! A demon! All of us are demons! Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! It's down! The demon is dead! These things march with the killers. How is it? This is other mission. How'd you do it? Show me. You made them obey you. But how? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. A couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Hey, look. How did you do that? You killed that demon pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Resh says, Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. I'd have to ditch something. I need to test this device. See what it can do. It's not hostile. It seems almost tame. I think I could write it. There we go. That a boy. That's more like it. Yeah! 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 Right! <laughs> this strider is fast! <laughs> this beats walking. Try overriding other kinds of machines. 
Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. Closer! Closer! Varl, I take it? Am I seeing things? Or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate? Uh, I was. It's hard to explain. I imagine so. Strange times we live in. We who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the Proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. Now, I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. Now, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. Now, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I... I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. May the goddess protect. when the war party was ambushed? Um, not exactly. And I'm not a hunter, or a brave, or anything, really. You shouldn't even be talking to me. Well, whoever you are, you're hurt. What happened? My name's Kren. I thought I'd have a go at the trials at the hunting grounds over the rise, you know, hone my skills. It, uh, it didn't go very well. I need to get going, Kren. All right. Be careful.
Not built for mountain climbing, huh? Focus is picking up some kind of signal. Maybe I can scan it. That way. It doesn't look more. There's danger ahead, girl. Danger for you, Outlander. This is Norland. Yeah, see? This one's in no pain at all. Who was he? A thief. A slaver, a killer. The kind that give honest killers a bad name. Farrell told me there would be bandit ambushes on the road. Well, it's not all good news. They don't always come to you. Most dig out a camp, and there they'll sit like spoil on meat. Unless someone does something about it? I like you. Follow the trail of smoke on the other side of the ruins. I'll be there. Let us speak! The dead and wounded all cleared away. Are there no more braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her like this. Varl told me that the War Chief tracked the killers. Did she find them? We followed their trail, but again and again they sent corrupted machines to attack us. My wounds started to slow me down, so the war chief sent me back to let others know she hasn't given up the fight. So, you were here when the war party was ambushed? I was. I thought after the proving there could be no darker day, but I was wrong. The war chief was delayed gathering the rear guard. Eager for revenge, the braves in the lead fell into the trap. Dozens lost in minutes. If Sona hadn't arrived and rallied us, no one would have survived. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? 
All I can tell you is where we parted. Near the metal tower, southeast of the ruins at Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with a lone boulder. I'll head for the embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May All Mother lend you strength. You'll need it, going alone. from that tall neck's head. There must be a way to get up there. <laughs> Made it. Now to climb up to its head.
This must be the rise Soma's runner told me about. The war chief's So we dressings for wounds. They must have taken a moment to rest. The runner wasn't the only one who got hurt. Couldn't have been easy going on after the ambush. That old bow has seen a lot of action. No one would have left it willingly. Soon has taken losses. Braves headed for that ridge. took it out. She could be close. You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. Uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the Proving. I crave vengeance. You have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. The killers are just across this ridge, digging the cursed earth. The sin of the ancients is buried in that soil. Corrupted demons. I know of them. I killed one at Mother's Watch. A bold claim. I wonder if you'll live up to it. into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us, but we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then? Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. 
Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do. Dead. We got a killer out there. something.
someone here? Someone here? Invade the shadow. This wasn't all the killers. I counted more at the War Party Massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination. But you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val! What are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the do as you wish. Everyone else does. Mother... Last month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter, safe from stray sparks and lightning, and I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures, or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Thran, out. <sighs> a blaze stockpile inside their... I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. 
The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the Matriarchs. Beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, War Chief, break the taboo. Devil's Grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here? You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. War Chief? Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. Then we should hit those camps first. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, 
and our animes in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send Braves to each camp to lie in wait. Would you start? They'll help finish. Got someone down over here. Doesn't look good. Ah, uh, she went that way. One of us died over here.
now. Got a body over here! You're all For the Nora! I all knew we could pray. do it. I can't spare the weight. I'm going in! Got something! Hmm.
went down. Who? Oh. Me? Just a memory now. Definitely not scrap. You hear that? I think all this time the machines were meant to serve our needs.
Someone down over here. Doesn't look Should have brought a cart. Fresh as it comes. Camps have been dealt with. Now to the Ring of Metal. Its high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height. Under fire if we're detected. I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Sounds like a plan. So long as I get to come with you. A war chief should be grateful for two arrows so eager to spring from the bow. Yes, Varl. Go with Aloy as her spearmate, but be vigilant. Yes, war chief. I will. Go now. We wait on your signal. You have a plan, right? You followed me this far, even into the ruins. I thought you trusted me. I do, but how would you know that this base has a weakness? Patience, Bob. You'll know soon enough.
Take my hand. Take the one on the left. There. You see that covered shelter? Do you see those corruptors? Focus, Varl. That shelter is full of blaze. A whole stockpile of it. If I set it off, the explosion will destroy those corruptors and collapse the wall, too. A breach for the Nora to charge through. Can't hit it from here, though. We'll need to get closer. I'll get closer. You head back, tell Sona the plan, and lead them to that side of the ring. I'll see it done. And when the wall collapses, I'll be first through the breach. Now all I have to do is make it all happen. If I can do this quietly, it'll be a lot easier. Got anything better to do? Oh, I'm it. I need to get to that place fast. Get down or get shot. I should be able to hit the blaze from here. I need to set off that blaze before it's too late.
All mother, look upon our victory. A debt of blood is paid. Remember this day, brave Nora. From your lips to the goddess's ears. Yes, remember it. Be ready to leave this place. Let your spears and arrows rest in the bodies of the fallen. They are tainted, like these ruins. It's over. They won't be able to kill again. The killers, this corruption, they're all parts of the mystery I'm chasing. Where the trail leads, I go. Thank <laughs> you. 
be one of the most famous. Mother's Crown. Bill for Chief Sona. You're reinforcing Mother's Crown? If the Nora are to weather another attack by the Metal Devil, we must brace our defenses. Still, the concern is not yours. You're not mine to command. You can still ask, War Chief. Very well. We need to harvest lance horns. They carry chill water, and their lenses have many uses also. I've already hunted lance horns. I should have the parts you seek. I'm not surprised, but I am grateful. I also need the watchtowers stocked with signal arrows. Take these to Orn's Tower in the south. If you would. <laughs> Oh, it's you. The outcast turned seeker. I've heard you're good with bow and spear. I think I hear a challenge in there somewhere, and I'm not- Oh, I see. The seeker doesn't have time for us lesser Nora. Too busy hunting machines and marauders. Well, I can't claim to have faced the corrupted or danced with demons, but I have earned a few sons at the hunting grounds at Valley Meat. Have you? Or maybe your seeking hasn't taken you that far. Do you try to provoke everyone you talk to? Only seekers with red hair and big reputations. And how often do they come around? You're the first I've seen today. If your seeking takes you to the hunting grounds, see if you can earn a blazing sun. If you do, you'll know you beat me. Consider it done. Brave! Mother's crown could make use of your bow. Me? Well, you are a brave, aren't you? We need boar skins. Our There's good boar hunting to the east. Path. When I saw it, I dropped the hunt, ran for cover, knocked an arrow. No shame in living to fight another day. No, it's... My ring had come loose. That was my luck in the wild. My mother's mother's prized from a machine's jaws long past. You put that much trust in a ring? After all that's happened, I need luck as much as the tribe needs those skin. I'll see what I can find. And your luck isn't all gone. I already have some boar skins. Could you spare four for our stitcher? These will be put to good use on the long watches. But if you should pass by that boar run and find where I fell, that's where I lost the ring. If you can help, you have my thanks. I'll be at the campfire when you come by again. Here she is. And pray to be remembered the hero well of fall. Devil's Grief. Come here. So, you're Aloy. I've heard about you from the war party, the hero of Devil's Grief. One of them, maybe. I didn't fight alone. You're Morea. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it. But their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. <laughs> 